Hello everybody, my name is Martin Tall, and today I'd like to give you a demo of the Neovisus Gaze Interaction prototype that I developed. Now Gaze Interaction enables you to control the computer just by looking at the screen. So there's no need for any traditional input devices such as keyboards, trackballs, trackpads or anything like that. All you need to do is look at the screen and that's enough to drive the interface. So first of all I'd like to go through how an eye tracker works. As you can see here, the eye tracker is placed underneath the monitor. It contains two infrared LEDs and a camera. The two LEDs on the eye tracker create a glint or reflection on my eyes. Now I can't visually perceive this light since it is within the infrared spectrum. The eye tracker I'm using to drive this interface with comes from SMI. Now this is a remote based system which means there is a tolerance for head movements. So if I swing my head around you can see that it's still tracking the position of my eyes. Now if we look at the camera image, we can see that the two infrared LEDs create a reflection or glint on my eyes. Now this in combination with the elliptic fitting of the pupil is used to calculate the position of my eyes. This is the Neovisus prototype interface that I developed. The first thing I'd like to show you is the radial circuit menu. By looking at the button here, a set of icons will appear. If I look outside, it will collapse again. By looking at one of the icons here, I can navigate to different parts of the application. This is the image viewer. By looking at the photos, they become enlarged. When I look at the icon underneath, they become expanded. By looking outside or blinking, I return to the original view. The next thing I want to show you is the memory game. The memory game is a gaze-based implementation of the classical memory game. The objective of the game is to locate matching pairs of cards. Now I can navigate through the different applications like this. Now I'd like to play some music. I can look around at the different artists like this. When I look at the icon underneath, I can go in and watch the albums.